Hey guys, hey, it's me and I am back with another DIY crafts video. So I love the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is one of the only places I can go and I can just throw stuff in the bag and have a shopping spree and probably come out spending about $17. <laughs> Ballin! <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys five different ways you can totally upgrade your candle pillar game using only Dollar Tree products. The only thing I didn't buy from the Dollar Tree was the glue gun and the glue, but everything else, totally Dollar Tree. So the first way you can totally upgrade your candle pillar game for five bucks is this super cute candle wicker. I also got from the Dollar Tree. So I got two candle pillars, from the Dollar Tree, how many times can I say Dollar Tree? Anyway, taking the candle pillars and gluing those together and then taking some rope, which I also got from DT, and just going to glue it around the candle pillars. Make sure that you're gluing this tight. You don't want any loose ends. I like to super glue each layer just so nothing can unravel. And look how easy that is, you guys. Now I'm taking a vase I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to glue that on top of the candle pillars. You could totally have glued the candle pillars and the vase together all at once, but I was being difficult. Anyway, I'm going ahead and taking some super glue, gluing that face on top of it, then I'm going to continue the woven rope around it. Y'all, we should remove the tag off the vase before you finish your project. Anyway, taking some rocks, also Dollar Tree, and putting that inside of the vase as well as a candle, also DT, and there you go, a wicker candle pillar. And that's it, you guys, a totally upgraded candle pillar. Another way to upgrade your candle pillar game is a super tall candle. I'm starting off this project with another candle pillar. Then I'm going to spray it with the Rust-Oleum Gold Metallic Finish. And that's what you should get. Let that spray paint dry for two, at least two days on that. Now I found these super cute tea light pillars from the tea. I'm just going to glue one of those on top of the candle pillar and then stack those on each other, making sure to glue each one. And then just top with a candle, and there you go, a super cute gold candle pillar. You can totally make the silver feet instead if you don't want gold, but I did want like something gold to kind of show you guys just how fancy you can be. The next way to upgrade your candle pillar game, which is probably the easiest way, and very, very wedding appropriate. This candle takes every bit of three minutes to do. Just take two candles, glue those on top of each other, add rhinestones to the middle, and top with a candle. That's it. And you can also spray paint this if you don't want clear. I love the clear just to show you guys different things you can do with Dollar Tree pillars. Like this! These are probably my favorite. My favorite. Now I scooped up a bunch of these tea light candle pillars from DT. All I'm doing is gluing the block first and then I'm going to glue each, I guess we can call it a circle, on top of the other. I used three circles and two squares for each pillar. How cute are these, you guys? Come on, you guys. You're definitely not going to be able to find these for five bucks each anywhere. To upgrade your candle pillar, I'm sure you've seen on Pinterest, you're just taking a candle pillar and a vase and super gluing them together. Insert your candle and then any kind of decor. I went ahead and used my Luminous Potpourri and it smells like vanilla overload. I think it smells amazing. Potpourri, you can do rose petals, you can do anything of your choice to decorate the candle pillar. So those are five different ways to upgrade your candle pillar game using Dollar Tree products. If you guys like this video and you want more DIY videos, please be sure to thumbs up this video. Seriously, how do I know that you guys want more if you don't tell me you want more? Until next time, bye!